scared yet, you know, maybe one day, but not scared yet. <laughs> It is a potential breakthrough in the treatment of ALS. So far, nothing has proven to slow the progression of the deadly disease. That was until now. New at 6, 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield explains how researchers at KCU could soon help thousands. I had a really fun time making them. Just like her homemade ornaments. I probably made 200 of these little things. This past year for Jennifer Beckerman has been filled with lots of love and hope. I'm really the same person. I've just added three letters to my name, so. ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Okay. The disease slowly attacks a person's neuromuscular system. Jennifer was diagnosed December 9, 2015. Now she can no longer walk or ride her Harley, and she's starting to lose the strength of her core. I'm not scared yet, you know, maybe one day, but not scared yet. But across town, renewed hope. Dr. Jing Song Chu and her team at KCU have been studying this disease. Their research on mice suggests gut bacteria could be a potential contributor to the progression of ALS. When you fix the, the gut and the, the ALS mouse model lived longer and they improve the function better. And they found using probiotics to help the balance of gut bacteria may even help slow down the disease. I think our study to look at the gut is really open a new direction to look at the disease you know, from different angles. Leaving those yeah, like Jennifer right, filled you know, with hope. Fight, hope, cure. In Kansas City, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News. Funding for Dr. Ju's research came from one of 58 ALS Association grants, which use money raised by the popular ice bucket challenge that so many of us participated in.